Hey everyone, yeah, so it's been a long time since I've made an update, so I thought I'd do it a little different, give a little bit of a voiceover at the beginning here. So lots of moving parts, uh, we've been busy, we've been slow, then we've been busy again, and yeah, so in this video you're going to see some of the recent projects we've been on and a few updates. Uh, we have a trailer now and a ladder rack, which allows us to store some ladders to and from jobs. And uh, it also allows us to haul some sheetrock around. And here we go. So enjoy the video. Thanks. Here's an example of a patch and repair that we did before and after. The customer had a straight rolled tree bark texture in their house and that's what we're patching. They tried to do it themselves and decided once they got so far into it that they needed to call in a professional and they reached out to us and we came over and we're happy to take care of them and here you can see the result. Okay, here you can see a bit into the process of ours for doing a popcorn scrape. This is on a garage, 10 foot ceilings. You see that we uh, protect the customer's home and a little bit into that process uh, in how we do that. Uh, this doesn't show all of the steps and processes, but uh, you get an idea of it's a big job, it's messy, and uh, we're the ones to go in there and do it, do it right. And I didn't get a uh, after photo on this one because the mud was wet and it just doesn't pop in the camera quite as well as it does when it's dry. So I might have to revisit uh, this popcorn scrape another time. All right, so we've made some upgrades to our drywall rig that includes a ladder rack that gives us the flexibility of carrying longer sheets of sheetrock and obviously carrying our ladders around for us. And uh, we recently got a trailer. I call it my mobile garage. As you can see, it's packed full of stuff. It's slowly but surely getting more and more organized. And lo and behold, when you know not uh, 20 days into it, I had it preloaded up and was going down some roads that had quite a few bumps and ruts in it. And I'm assuming that my tire got into one of those ruts, broken axle. Uh, was without the trailer for about a week and a half and had to get that replaced and you know having a trailer spoils you pretty quick right having a mobile garage at hand able to pull up give a bid on a job and immediately start it and have full confidence that you have everything so it's a real bummer there for about a week and a half but we are back up and running uh, with the trailer all right here you can see we are gearing up and stocking the job to get ready to do some finishing on a porch converted to a sunroom and as you can see our new team member is progressing nicely already carrying sheetrock by herself and uh, doing some cuts on some rock using the old t-square there here we are starting the taping process uh, with the banjo just kind of zipping up the job and we'll continue the finishing process and I'll have to revisit some before and afters and durings uh, once the job is complete we got the tape coat on today in the fill coat and uh, we'll just continue that process and we'll do some painting uh, on this job as well we're putting a uh, ultra white on the ceiling and a light blue on the walls for the customers. 